Another thing we have to talk about in terms of protein synthesis is how it's different between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Because prokaryotic cells are so much simpler, they don't have all the mechanisms that eukaryotic cells have in order to change, process, and actually make the proteins. For example, the RNA polymerase types which are involved in eukaryotic cells are much more diverse than those of prokaryotic cells because prokaryotic cells won't need all the different kinds of RNA that the eukaryotic cells actually use. They do have messenger transfer and ribosomal RNA, but they do not have all the other RNAs that we talked about. Also, the transcription process of prokaryotic cells will be a lot faster. It's almost as if they're less concerned with actual mutations which can take place or errors during the transcription. By the way, that's another location where mutations can actually take place. RNA processing is also going to be different. There is no RNA processing in prokaryotes. Prokaryotic cells will actually start making the protein synthesis as soon as transcription happens. And since there's no nuclear envelope, the ribosomes will attach themselves really close to where the transcription is actually taking place. So whatever you transcribe, you're absolutely going to translate. There's no processing there, and there are no introns. There are no G caps. There are no poly-A tails. It's much more simple than that. The gene structure is also very different. The regulation systems and the untranslated regions and everything else and all the introns and exons are all different. The prokaryotic cells basically only have the coding sequence of the DNA. They don't have any of the other stuff that helps regulate protein synthesis and stability of the genetic code. The transcription unit is also different. Typically the size of transcription units of eukaryotes is much larger and eukaryotic genes will actually have many genes to make one protein sometimes because Sometimes you need different subunits to make a gene. That's not actually true about eukaryotic genes, prokaryotic genes. They basically have simple transcription units. The transcription factors of prokaryotic cells will, will work in completely different ways that the transcription factors of eukaryotic cells will work at, and we'll talk about that when we do gene expression control. Termination of transcription is also different because this termination sequence is different. The way that RNA polymerase understands that the code is over is different because it doesn't really have the same kind of parts of the transcription unit. Ribosomes will also be different in prokaryotes than eukaryotic cells. The ribosomal RNA or the genetic code of the ribosomes is different between the two. And it's actually something that you can use to differentiate between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. And initiation is also going to be different since you don't necessarily have the G cap or all of the different initiation factors that help regulate translation in eukaryotic cells. The translation speed is also going to be different. Prokaryotic cells, again, are not as concerned with making mistakes. It's almost as if they like the mistakes and want to make more mutations since they don't have the other mechanisms to accelerate evolution that you have in, search, in sexual reproduction. And so they're going to be tra translating the proteins a lot faster. But since they don't, normally don't usually use polyribosomes, you're going to have actual less protein being made at the end. Also, elongation factors are going to be different. The proteins involved in the actually facilitating the transference or the movement of the, ri of the ribosome across the ri messenger RNA are going to be different. And a different release factor is going to be involved in terminating the translation process. Regulation of mRNA is going to be different because since you have the poly-A tail and the G-cap and untranslated regions in the eukaryotic genome, you're going to actually have the RNA surviving longer. But you also have different classes of molecules which are going around trying to destroy it. While in prokaryotic cells, you don't have those protections and the mRNA is going to de degradate a lot faster than it would in eukaryotic cells. And finally, the post-translational processing is going to be different. If you make the protein in a, in a bacteria, it's not going to be the same protein that you made if you make an eukaryotic cell because of all these differences and because in eukaryotic cells proteins often go undergo changes after the protein synthesis is completed and that's going to be important when we talk about biotechnology and trying to use bacteria to create proteins for humans you can't really do that as often as you want to because bacteria don't have the same mechanisms of processing the proteins as we do